Hi, this is Jack Dalton again. I'm still in Sri Lanka. I'm at a site called Dambula, the Dambula Cave Temples. I'm here with our guide, Claude Fernando, and with my friend and travel companion, Roz Ho. Now, uh, Claude, we've, uh, we're at the last of the five caves yes, that comprise this complex. Correct. This is the fifth cave, and right behind us is the reclining statue of Lord Buddha, with the many, many paintings of, on the top. This comes from the first century BC. It's a very, very old temple. It was one of the kings, Walagambahu, who said that he would you know, build a temple like this and many caves when he goes for the northern war with the, with the Cholas. And he won the war, he came back, and finally he completed the temple. So this is a promise that he has made to all the people in the village areas and to the Sri Lankans. So today, many, many devotees come here to worship, pay their respects, do their offerings, and thanksgiving. Now, Claude, these caves have been restored, of course, many Certain times. parts have been restored, and we had Lucia Navarenzo from the Midstonian Institute to restore most of the paintings right up here. Now, some of the images are carved out of the living rock. Correct. And some are made of brick that's brick, been plastered. Yeah, brick and plaster, correct. Now, now, Raj, we've been to other cave temple sites in other parts of the world, the Buddhist world. But probably the most famous one outside of Sri Lanka is the Janta in, in India. Right. Um, so well, I haven't been there, but this does remind me of some of the Dunhuang caves in China. That's I'm probably so proud. That's probably the best, uh, most comparable oh, example of this. Dunhuang, uh, the the Mogao caves at Dunhuang on the at the sort of the beginning of the Silk Road on the eastern t terminus. Um, these. Uh, uh, were these carved out of the rock? The the caves themselves, no, or the natural they were built, yeah, they were built separately. But is it? Is it's it, the natural part of the rock going inside. I see. And this was done in later period. Hmm? Uh, the plastering here was a different period altogether. That was done by the archaeological department. But these were done very far back beyond. I see. So the facade is man-made. Correct. Built architecture. Yeah. yeah. This is a natural rock huh? going back further down. As you see, the other four and three and two are very much further beyond. Beyond. But this is as the rock is coming to an end. This is getting closer. So this is the tail of the rock in other words. I see. A uh, long rock over that's right, overhead. That's right. These are granite bubbles, volcanic eruptions. I see. And they're filled with a multiplicity of Buddha images. Correct, correct, yes. And as well as some Hindi. Yeah, wow. Hindu also. As you know, Buddhism and Hinduism. Hinduism very closely influenced with Buddhism. So that is why we have Hindu statues also in these temples. In all temples right on Sri Lanka, we will find that. Yeah, I think at one of the first temples we visited, uh, Cave 1 or 2, there was there an image was, of Vishnu. Yes, yes, Vishnu. And even when you go to Kandy, you will see the same thing, statues of Hindu gods inside this temple. Because, not to forget that, when the pageant starts, there are four gods that will join the tooth of Lord Buddha. Vishnu, Nata, Patini, Katragama. They will all join in the temple. That's really interesting because, as, as you know, Claude, we've been all over the Buddhist world and I've never seen um, another Buddhist site where uh, the Hindu divinities are so integrated with the Buddhist, uh, the Buddha and the Buddhist yeah. divinities. In, in Sri Lanka, they're very, very close to, it's the same religion taught. And, so, I, and I guess it also reflects how close the island that Sri Lanka is to, to the India. India correct, correct. Very, very close, very close. You can swim the Park Strait, as I told you earlier. It's only 18 kilometers. 18 kilometers. Between Sri Lanka and India. So anyway, uh, this is a fantastic uh, stop on our, our day to day in Sri, in Sri Lanka, the Dabula Caves. Quite, quite an atmosphere of magic and mystery Correct. here within the caves. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you.